Hello. Hope your spring is going well and you're getting those ball games in uh, and enjoying the spring weather. It's It's been a rather uh, challenging spring as far as weather is concerned, but we know that you're doing your best to make sure that the events go off uh, safely and as uh, timely as possible. The WI staff is really busy working on state events, making sure that all of our state events, the venues through the officials, through all of the other parts of what we're trying to do to make state events a great experience are coming together so that everyone can have an enjoyable and safe and exciting experience. I know that a lot of you have, have followed the W Executive Board and W Representative Assembly action that has happened over the last couple of weeks and I just want to kind of segment those for you a little bit. Uh, number one, the rules making body of the association, the W I Representative Assembly, the 53 member body uh, who votes on rules changes for the association met a couple weeks ago and made a few changes. Uh, one that's uh, kind of a carryover from a football change last year on a running clock uh, now for basketball. Uh, a couple other issues that were discussed, however, dealt with a potential change in classifications which did not uh, receive enough votes and even uh, a fairly healthy discussion about lacrosse and where the association might be headed. And even uh, though that particular amendment failed as well. There was, I think, some very healthy discussion about the pros and cons of having lacrosse, particularly girls lacrosse, uh, sanctioned by the association. Probably the one uh, issue that, that really has gotten the most uh, involved in discussion over the last couple of weeks has been uh, state basketball tournament format, and that's a WIAA executive board uh, decision. The W Executive Board is responsible for the association's fiscal stability as well as state tournament formats, dates and sites, those types of, of issues. W Executive Board has been looking at state tournament revenue, particularly basketball, for a number of years and this is the second year where basketball really has had a, a tough year. Uh, and I know that some folks want to focus on the fact, well, it's just the big schools that were um, having difficulty. And, and that's really not totally accurate. Uh, this last year, three uh, state tournaments uh, met their target goals for state budget, and three were severely under uh, state tournament revenue uh, projections. So the W Executive Board had to take some a real strong look. And if you go back and review some of the discussion that's been held over the years, you'll find that, that basketball has been dis discussed quite frequently in, in an informal setting. Even back as far as this last fall, the WA executive staff, when they went out and did the fall workshops, one of the topics during the fall workshops was the fact that the board was looking at state tournament formats, particularly basketball. And when I look back, I don't think that any of us could have predicted that state tournament revenue for basketball was going to continue to decline as it did this year. When you look at our other state events uh, for winter sports, every other sport except basketball had an increase over what we thought would happen and, and an increase over last year. So it really has been a basketball issue. And sometimes we can point at weather and the number of doubles teams and who wins into the tournaments um, as, as the reason for the way the basketball tournaments in a sense flesh out for uh, for revenue and quite honestly this year there there really wasn't any one issue that really drove uh, the gate receipts it simply was not uh, a second a good year for the second year in a row for state basketball it declined and that kind of falls right in line with the fact that while our revenues are still continuing to decline in basketball so are uh, the uh, concerns with what the actual event means to our fans and to our student fans in particular. Folks, we, we actually uh, did an informal you know, visual survey of, of crowds during consolation brackets and fans are not supporting those events. I think those of you who have been at State Basketball have known that for years and years. And, and uh, yet the cost for those facilities, the utilization of those facilities is not declining. It continues to increase whether it's union costs or, or whatever the facility has that continues to drive our expenses up in those venues. For the last couple of years I've worked with the managers of those venues and talked to them about reducing costs and for the most part they've done the best that they can do. 
and I, my hats are off to those facilities people who have who have cut costs, uh, helped us maintain costs. Have we've reduced staff both from the venue uh, perspective and from the state tournament WI controlled uh, personnel. And we're at the point right now where we've cut everything we can do without severely restricting what we believe is a safe and healthy and enjoyable experience for our youth and for our fans when they attend state basketball events. The board looked at a number of different opportunities and felt that the option that, that, they, that they landed on was actually the closest to what is currently in place. And when you think about it, it's still a 16-team state tournament, and actually that first round will be at a local site. And the W executive board and the staff and the district directors are committed to making sure that costs are maintained so that it doesn't become prohibitive and isn't prohibitive for our teams just to attend state tournaments. Now, there are a lot of different issues relative to state basketball tournament formats and sites that were driving the discussion other than the concerns about revenue. There's been an increasing amount of support to shorten the winter season. And obviously with with six basketball tournaments and only three venues, the only way to shorten the winter season was to move it back, and to do that would not have been, we could not have done because we needed three weekends and three sites, and you can't shorten it when you're in that kind of situation. So this decision also accomplishes that goal. And I think when it comes right down to it, we're going to see some great state basketball tournaments. We're going to see some some really premier basketball teams that are going to meet each other, in a sense, earlier uh, at the one site than they have in the past. Yeah, and we're also going to take the tournament closer to the fans. For those fans that haven't been able to come for four days or haven't have chosen not to come for four days, that first round is going to be closer to home if we can make that all work the way we hope it can and the way I think we can make it work. Um, so... The staff, uh, along with the district directors and a few board members, are going to get together on June the 1st and talk about how we seed into those, those uh, first-round sites, uh, where those sites might be located, and then how we determine what those sites and the teams going to those sites will be determined when it comes to that point in the season this coming winter. I appreciate your patience. I know this is an emotional decision uh, that has really made a few of you a little bit disappointed in and the executive board and staff, but I also know that the vast majority of it support the decision that the executive board made. And here's how I know that. Every one of you in a member school chooses who you have as your representative to your league meetings and to your WI district meetings. And in turn, every district board determines who their WI executive board member is going to be who represents them. My belief is that you select those people because you have faith in them carrying forth your voice. And I can assure you that the W Executive Board discussed every possible way of exploring ways of minimizing costs without changing the format. But the change in format became the one way that really addressed the concerns that the member schools have expressed over the years, whether it's the cost of the member schools, the cost of the fans, the cost of the association, or the length of seasons. The decision addresses each one of those. So, again, the executive board took all that input. They reflected what the majority of you wanted to see happen, the vast majority of you wanted to see happen. And now it's our responsibility, whether you're an athletic director or a coach or a member of the WI staff, to make sure that the implementation meets those goals. I can tell you that this staff is committed to making sure that that happens. In the meantime, be patient. If you have any concerns, funnel those concerns to your building administrator, and those concerns will get funneled to either your WI executive board member or your district director or to the WI staff. I assure you those will get addressed when that group meets on June the 1st. Thanks for all you do for our students. I hope to see you at a state tournament this spring. Let's all have fun and be safe and enjoy these great opportunities that we create for our student participants. Thank you.